I'm not 100% sure what's going on. I've just got off the turbo trainer about two hours doing one of them Zwift events. Apparently I'm sleeping in that thing. It's news to me. I'm not sure what she's on about, the old bun. I don't know if she's having a laugh or if I've actually got to sleep in the garden. Let's go find out. Welcome to another episode of the Bun and Beard Vlog. What the crap is going on? Just put my head torch on. Get your torch on. Oh yeah, this is. I'll wear it all night. Is this happening? Oh wow! Oh wow! That that's a quite cool look actually. <laughs> I don't hate that at all. Well, let's just let's just let's figure out what's going on here. Where? So we're we're outside tonight. Quite hard to like. Stylized. To style this, okay. bun is on to one side. <laughs> we're outside tonight, are we? Yeah. What what's informed? What's caused this decision? So there's a group called Peak Brevet. Peak Brevet, as in the Peak is, Park. Like Peak, yeah, Peak yeah. District. Brevet, as in long distance all riding. Like all thingies. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's all women actually, but one of them who I know, Grace, um, was telling us that they were doing a thing this Saturday today where everyone was sleeping out, where they're like on your balcony or in the garden, just because. Just because. Isolation and like everyone's got trips that have been cancelled. So. Hashtag lockdown. Yeah. So we're, so we're joining in. We're camping out within the boundaries of our own property. Oh God. <laughs> Mega. I've done some extensive... Um, Ground surveying mm -hmm. and pick the best spot. Yeah, good. Comfort. Yeah. And I've erected the tent in a world record time of about two and a half minutes. Great. And I'm not anticipating any bad weather, so. Huh. And we should have a good sunrise apparently tomorrow. Right, okay, I'm looking forward to that. I'll have to research the time of it. We need to take some things to entertain us and some, what, things chocolate to eat, I suppose. Yeah. And some so stuff to keep us warm. The beauty of this adventure is we can take. We can glamp it, because we don't have to worry about packing it onto our backs or onto our bikes. Oh. I'm going to take my hot water bottle. Oh, so I can gonna take the take duvet? all 20 of your pillows. I need all my pillows. We can take your laptop to watch things on. Oh, okay, okay, nice. So now like, I'm on board. Sort of. It's not What's the bailout policy? Um, if we're not enjoying it, we'll just come back in. Okay, cool. I like that vibe. It's not stressful. If it's not fun, we stop. I'm down. Okay, cool. So we're doing glamping in the garden. Let's get on with it. Right, like I said, I'm secretly delighted about this for two reasons. Reason number one, I bloody love camping. I really love wild camping especially. I've been trying to get Jessica to come wild camping with me and she hasn't, she hasn't been too keen so far. But she's taking the initiative on this, so I'm gonna I'm play, kind of playing it a bit cool, playing it a bit agnostic. Oh yeah, can, can do can do some camping, in the hope that she really, you know, she really enjoys this, and then I can take a while camping in a few weeks. Oosh. Number two, I've been wanting to use the low light settings on this cam for ages, so let's do that. Pursuit is gone. So, you know, I just did that Zwift race. <laughs> Is there any chance you want to blow this up for me? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <coughs> this ain't gonna work. This is on you. This bit's on you. I'll do something else. Absolutely delightful today, <clears throat> and it's supposed to be something like 17 18 degrees tomorrow. So, hopefully, we'll wake up and be nice and warm. There's trees in that bush, no, nope. there's birds in that bush. <sighs> oh right, gosh, did I? Yeah. Oh, my apologies, we got there. Hot water bottle, Hot water bottle. nice. I think I've delivered every pillow and soft thing that we have. Oh, we got the ones 
Oh, yes, yes, sir. Oh, I know what we need. Bosh. That's what we need. I'd like to caveat this by saying I am not a hoarder. I'm not a hoarder. I just happened to have the opportunity to get some wholesale goods. So I did. The wholesalers can't sell them to anyone at the moment, so I thought I'd help them out. Take a box of 48 cream eggs off their hand. Thank you. Oh, for those that follow the bread channel, that's 16 kilos of bread flour. There are not many bakeries buying the sacks at the moment, so the wholesaler was more than happy to unload one to me. <laughs> off, we go, off we go to the campsite. I'll lead us there. Okay, you can be the leader. Do you want to go the shorter route or the, or the long route? The shorter route. Okay. The more direct route to the campsite. Okay, we have to scale this. Yeah, oh yeah, this is, we're camping now. Oh, look. Gosh, why is it going red? Can you hear that noise? The helicopters? Yeah. It's like the third or fourth night I've heard the helicopters out on the hills. What are they doing? The helicopters are only normally out if someone gets stranded on the hills. There's nobody out at the moment. I wonder if they're looking for well, like naughties, naughty people that have gone out in their cars, congregating in groups. Oh, right, let's get in here. Shut this thing before the buggers get in. Well, at the moment, there's not really that many bugs out at the moment because it's not that warm. I can see them. Can you? Yeah. Those are bats. That sound makes me think of so many memories. Of camping? <laughs> Festivals, mainly. <laughs> it's like that noise. And then, hello? <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh. Right. What's that Green Day lyric? Welcome to paradise. <laughs> this is the tricky bit of camping. What's, what's the tricky bit? The orientation of self. <laughs> Right, okay. You have to think about, is my head facing upwards or downwards? Uh -huh. Are there any lumps in the floor? Yeah, I thought you've surveyed the ground. Yeah, How was I did. It? Um, and I think if we have heads there, yeah. feet here. Yeah. Classic orientation. In the guidebooks, the yeah. scout and guidebooks, they call that the missionary <laughs> orientation. <laughs> yeah. In other camping scenarios, you'd have a campfire. Yeah, oh, you can't have one of those in the I garden and burn the place down. Though. We're not having a fire in the garden. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to burst your old bubble on that one. What um, what did we get up to today? We went for a walk. Went for a lovely walk, didn't we? Yeah. We're, bas we're blessed in that surrounding our house is just hills in every direction. Yeah. So we went up on top of the hills for a couple of hours and we, we were never more than about, what, two miles from home, were we? Mm-hmm. It's delightful. We didn't see really anyone. Didn't see anybody. I was surprised how few people were out. We saw our old friend from the cafe. Yeah. And we were like, oh. It was nice to have human interaction for 10 minutes, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, maybe I'll pop some nice pictures of it took on our walk. Yeah. Pretty cozy. Snowy snug. What are you doing there? Make an Instagram story. Just Instagram story so everybody knows. Classic. <laughs> I want to inspire them to camp in their own gardens. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Some people are bivvying. Some people are bivvying. Oh, I love a good bivvy. It's hard to be snuggly in a bivvy. Zero snuggle in yeah, a bivvy. Yeah, it's just like survival. Yeah. Not about that. Basically. Let's get on in here. <laughs> just disco party. You're a disco party? Yeah. Without me? Yeah. Who's disco party? Well, it was Jarvis Cocker. Yeah. He's doing like a live DJ set from his front room, but he's having technical issues. Is he? <laughs> so he's just on the screen and everyone's like, what's going on? So he's having a 
party, like a disco. A DJ set. A DJ set that he's streaming from his front room. Yeah, and something's gone wrong, so it's just gone like silent, and everyone on the chat is just like, hello? <laughs> is anyone filming this? What's going on? Jarvis Cocker. That's funny, because his front room's about 600 yards up the road, isn't yeah. it? I wonder if we could walk up the road and hang out outside, yeah. and listen to it from outside. <laughs> right. Super fan. Are we, are we going to blow away? <laughs> we might, because I didn't do the storming the tent. You haven't pegged us down? No, no not, not with the, um, the ropes. How many guy ropes are in place? None, zero guy ropes. There is... I don't think they're necessary, and as a girl guide, I know. There are no guy ropes in place? Nah. What kind of amateur hour is this? I... Uh, did you enjoy your camping experience? I loved it. I love camping. Yeah. The only slight problem we have now <laughs> is it's 6.30am. The natural alarm. And we're really awake. And... Don't want to be. Don't want to be awake. <laughs> <laughs> the bird song is so loud that we're not going to go back to sleep out here. And we've got nothing to do until about... Mm, what, 10? <laughs> I've got nothing to do all day, mate. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's hot. Camping expedition over. Mm. I enjoyed that. It was good. How did you find it? I liked that, actually. It's did you? Nice to be... I don't know, just, just being in that little pod of differentness did feel like we could have been anywhere. During these isolated times, it was quite pleasant, wasn't it? Yeah. Maybe we'll do the next step, maybe we'll go and do something a bit more adventurous next time. Yeah. <laughs> when we're allowed. When we're allowed. Or, ne or if we're not allowed out of isolation for a while, I know some of my friends that did the same thing last night, that did, like, they cooked outside and stuff. Oh, yeah. They, like, went next level. We could go next level. Yeah, they did, like, a bike, they did a similar thing to it, it's like, we went for a walk and then kind of came back, they went for a bike ride, but then they cooked on, like, a little outside fire. Oh, yeah. If you've got the ability to do this at home, right now, the weather is perfect for it. Yeah. The sun's not coming up too early. Not Got like, yeah, like it'd be almost perfect if you did it tonight, tonight, Sunday. Yeah. Um, to like be up, like I felt really, really awake at 6.30, waking up with natural light and with birds. It's like got, it's got to be, it's got to be good for you, right? Sleeping yeah. outside is kind of what our bodies are like evolved to do. It's got to be good for you like you're in meant every to be sense. in the cold, aren't you? Yeah. We're not meant to be as warm as we are. Yeah. And, at night time, so yeah. In conclusion, we enjoyed it. We'd do it again. We'd do it, probably we'll do it again. I if still need to go, I need to go and break down our campsite. You do actually. That's today's You challenge. need to go check out the campsite. Yeah. Um, if you've got the facility to do this yourself at home, hey, maybe it's an idea to do. Yeah. Do, do it by yourself, do it with your partner, do it with your kids. Yeah. Do whatever you want. It feel a bit like an adventure. It felt enough like an adventure that we are now satisfied. Let's push on with the rest of the day. I've got a bike race to go and win. What are you doing? I've got some yoga, some yoga 90 today? minute yoga sort of E class. I've got a bit of a knee niggle, so I'm just letting my body relax a bit and doing some stretching rather than pushing on with training that I don't know is a good idea. Sensible, sensible. Cool, all right, well, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We love you being here. Any questions, any comments, you know where to put them. Hit that like button while you're there. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give that little bell a tap. Then you know when the next one's coming out. It's an idea, isn't it? Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. And other than that, we'll see you next time. Bye. Cheers.